Well, hey, how's it going today? Having a good day? Uh, what I want to highlight today, a uh, continuation of our last video, uh, preserving our seeds for next year. Zoom in on Taylor. What we've done, uh, these are tomatoes we picked today, they go whoppers. What we, we did on the last batch is we picked our best looking fruit. It looked about like this, you know, no uh, major cracks or disease or anything. Super ripe. And what we did was we, uh, as we were processing them, we scalped out the seeds and then saved them in these cups. And basically we were supposed to let these sit three to five days so there was a nice mold scum. You can see the mold forming on there. That tells us that the fermentation process is well underway and that it is time to clean the seed and separate the, uh, the wheat from the chaff, so to speak. Over here, we've got our cucumber seeds that are sitting. And you notice that there's some on the bottom and there's a percentage of them that have risen to the top. The seed that we're in the process of cleaning. The seed on the bottom is good seed. Viable. There's actually something in there that is wanting to grow at some point. The bad seed is the, uh, the dead seed or the seed that's not viable. So what we're going to do, we'll take the little bowl here, get our calendar, and we're just going to drain off the water and the bad seed should go first. Right about there. Them for us in there. And you'll re we'll repeat this process uh, a couple times. There's probably a simpler way of doing it, but this is my first year doing it, so this is kind of what I come up with. Let's fill the bowl with water again. Should be able to see. Uh, the good seeds, once the water stops swirling, start to settle at the bottom of the, uh, of the glass here. We'll let that do its thing. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and take our tomato seeds here. This is Kellogg's breakfast. The big uh, orange whopper there. And a nice little stem on there. Our cup of water. Just going to dump it through the calendar here. And we're going to rinse. We're going to use that bowl once the cucumbers are done. Zoom back in on the cucumbers. You can see. Again, the good seeds settled at the bottom, so the um, bad seed that we haven't been able to get out yet is at the top, so we'll just continue to do this uh, kind of rinse, dump, repeat until we get some good seed. Then what we're going to do is we're going to let them dry. We'll zoom in over here. These are the good seed that we got out of the Tigger Melon. I'll get them in a bowl, just let them kind of dry. They're pretty well dry. They've been sitting here for about 15 minutes or so. But once they're dry, to our satisfaction, we're going to get some uh, either little jelly jars or some envelopes and um, or both and put them in there, label them with a date. And then uh, this probably January, February, we're going to plant some of these and see what we get. So, uh, got any questions? Okay, well, we'll see what happens. That's it for now. Bye.